Hi everyone and welcome back to Venture of the Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. And I wanted to come back with a home ed video today and talk more about what my children are going to be doing over the summer. So I found these workbooks, Brain Quest, Summer Brain Quest books, um, a while ago. I was looking for, when my children were younger, I was looking for a complete curriculum that we could just do out of one book. And I found the Brain Quest books which are they are american so you do have to in your if you're in the uk you do have to change um some bits like money and measurement that sort of thing so obviously we use pounds and the metric system here but uh, these summer brain quest books are really really cool and um there's only a few pages you'll have to replace and if you have a membership to something like twinkle it's easily done there so i will show you both bessie and albert's ones this green one here is Albert's and this kind of tealy coloured turquoise, whatever you want to call it, is for Bessie. So um, the best thing about these books are, I think, and so do the kids, are these cool sticker charts at the back. So you can pull these out, they have a perforated edge and each one in each book has a different theme. Now as you go through the book and you complete things, you have got these little markers here and for each activity there is a sticker which can be found in the back. So when your child has completed that page, you can stick the sticker on the chart and it kind of gives them that little validation that some children really like. Uh, my guys certainly like it. They've never, things like reward charts or anything work like that, but they feel like it's an, an acknowledgement of their accomplishment, so they really like it. So as I said, this is Albert's book. And one of the other great things about it is um, it has cycles through all different subjects. So here you've got folk tales. Then you go on to maths, or math if you're in America. And uh, then you've got past, present and future. You've got elements of a story, uh, habitat diversity, and then you're on to the next level. And so on and so forth. So um, I will do a quick flick through in just a minute. Uh, I literally will just go like that for you, but slower so you can get a good idea of what you're getting. They have all of the answers in the back, but they also have some extra questions and answers, which I'm going to use as like a mini assessment to see how well they've, how well he's done. They also have reading lists, fictional and non-fiction. I don't recognise most of the books, so you might not be able to get them in the UK. However, it might be able to give you an idea of books that you could switch out that you can get in the UK at the local library, for example. <clears throat> Another thing that's really good about these books, one, it's got a little tiny certificate at the back there, which some kids really love. And in each level, they have an outdoor um, adventure, outdoor um, enrichment sort of thing. And um, the examples you've got here are draw your environment, follow the leader, adjective, adjective hunt, I can never say the word, Adject adjective hunt, measure your footprint, Treasure hunt, tree texture, verb race, excuse me, outside quests, that's what they call them, not adventures, outside quests. And they uh, show up on the map, I'll open it up again so you can see, they show up on the map here telling you when you should do them. So this leaf here has got a little compass on it, just bring it in for you, there you go, so that's where you know you need to do the level two outside quest um, at some point in there. Obviously, if you want to do it at any point, no one's going to know. Do whatever you want to do. But there we go. So that's Albert's one. Charles has got one too, but he's already started his, so I won't share his right now. But this one's Bessie's. Uh, Bessie wouldn't be in this grade if she was in school in America. She would be... Actually, maybe she would. She would be in fourth at the moment. She would be... If she was in an American school, she would be in the fourth grade going into the fifth grade. But um, we started her much later than she would have started school, about two years later than she would have started school very formal education so this one's more appropriate and some bits I think might be too hard for her so um we will see but Bessie's got the same thing again she has the um has the chart at the back has got the uh stickers has got the mini brain quest deck which is like a little assessment questions she's got the reading list and then it cycles through so you've got all of the levels in the front here in the contents page and level one here we go starts with uh, fragments and run-on sentences local economies maths which is rounding numbers magnetic force prefixes and suffixes primary and secondary sources 
you've got diverse life cycles. I haven't actually gone through. This is the first time we're going through Bessie's one. Uh, multiplication, and then level one is done. And then you move on. So then you've got irregular verbs, but it's histories. It's all Egyptians. Maths again. And again, that's all themed around. Each bit has a theme. So this is kind of like um, the ancient ancient Egyptians by the looks of it. So it all has kind of that um, that kind of theme. Athena and Poseidon. So there you go. Not only do you have uh, Greek mythology there, you also have a main idea and supporting details and some comprehension. So there we go. I'm flipping, flicking through there. You've got lots of different things. So you can easily do um, maths, English and something else all throughout the year. So I got those on Amazon for the most part. Um, I did get um, Albert's, Albert's one from eBay because they didn't have it in stock that was going to arrive in time on Amazon. And I had already ordered one from World of Books. Now, usually I have really, really good, um, get really, really good books from World of Books. It is a secondhand bookstore online and I've never had an issue with it um, until until this book and this is a second book and it said on the thing that was in very good condition um and then it described very good condition as being the spine might be crumpled the you know it might be well read as you can tell here um and when it arrived i saw it had a sticker on it saying goodwill two dollars 99 and i thought uh oh okay so goodwill is like a charity shop isn't it like that's what we would call it over here and i started flicking through it uh, opened it up and I instantly see that some bits have been done now I don't know about anyone else each to their own but I would not have donated this to a charity shop I would have put it in the bin um, I certainly then wouldn't have thought it was acceptable to sell it on um, when it says $2.99 on the label $2.99 on the label for then to sell it on World of Books for almost £7 I think that is an absolute swizz as my dad would say uh, so I went and bought a brand new one on eBay for double the price of that one but you know this is um, the recommended retail price is $12.99 US dollars um, and I got it for $12.99 British pounds so you know whoever I got it from obviously made some money on it so for them <laughs> Uh, that's the only thing is the only thing is you can't get them from the manufacturer from the printer from the publisher from the company whatever um and have them here because they are american company but um and obviously the downside to this is that you will have to replace some of the stuff and there may be some spelling differences because of course like color and you know the, the u taking the u out for example um is a big one isn't it i'm just trying to find an example of um the like a page you might have to replace uh i don't think i'll find it in this one hold on there was one in here and it was like um a social studies lesson and it was talking about the american congress now of course that uh whilst is useful to know like i don't maybe i don't know maybe it's useful i don't know anything about the american congress nor do i need to here we go foundations of freedom governments this is all about the united states government this is not something the best you need to learn about um um, however, I what I will do, they don't need to, so you've got House of Representatives, Senate, Supreme Court, President, Bessie doesn't need to know about this, um, and that is something that I will, we will skip, um, unless I can find a representation of the British government, uh, the monarchy, maybe the monarchy and the British government is probably a better um, switch. I can also do things like local councils, county councils, that sort of thing, like explain that to her. And that will be my version of going tick. We've done that <clears throat> because she doesn't need to know about the American government and neither do I. I, it's not something that I think the big part of home education that's really important to me is that my children are learning things that are, um, relevant to their life and the American government is not relevant to my children's lives. So, there we go. That's the books that we're going to be using over the summer, over the school summer holidays. The only reason we are taking a break from our usual things is because the kids have started playing out with friends on the estate that they've made. And I really want them to be able to do that, but still get some home ed done. So we're going to do these books and um, that's going to keep us going over the summer holidays because they're going to want to play out a lot. Uh, we also have 
um, a summer schedule that I am making and uh, that will be lots of outside time that will be um, and you know we're going to go to different places um, on different days and things like that and I will share those in another video coming up um i will end the video by saying please like and subscribe uh ma we have recently had a job loss in this house so uh the more the quicker i can get into the uh this channel monetized the better um i recently posted about starting a brand new channel and after doing a lot of work behind the scenes to prepare for that i ended up being like no i can't do it i can't do it i can't um you know going of what i was going to do for that channel and then trying to keep up this channel like it was just unrealistic so there is about to be a buttload of varied content coming onto here i am going to be doing um at least one home education video a week there will be videos about other things i am using it as an excuse to majorly declutter my house and bring you guys on for the ride this is going to be a real and honest like this is what my house looks like right now help me get it sorted and um there's going to be stuff i'm going to introduce you to our pets we have a dog we have cats we have horses we have guinea pigs we're going to introduce you to those and we're going to talk about them if you've ever wondered what it's like to own horses this channel is about to be the place where you are going to get a um really up close and personal you know bird's eye view of what it's like to own horses um we're going to talk about the finances we're going to talk about uh the work that's involved we're going to tell about what you need to know before you get a horse it's all going to be on the channel uh same with things like my talking about owning a rescue dog um and yeah all of the things and guinea pigs are such great animals for pets if you are thinking about getting them again this channel is going to have some information for you that you might enjoy so Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe and comment because the more interaction we get on the channel, the quicker I can build it up. And hopefully the fact that uh, nobody is now um, employed currently in this house will not be that big a deal because I will be able to use my social media to offset some of that a little bit. So thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you soon. Bye.